What's up, Kerbal Knots? This is Noel on PC. Oh, I think I took I took off way too early. I was like, oh, I got some lift. I'll pull back. No, that was stupid. We were doing like 100 miles an hour. We are playing some KSP, if you can't tell. We are um, co basically copying, for lack of a better word. We are stealing and plagiarizing um, one of the KSP TV streamer uh, ideas they had recently. Uh, basically, you know, I do, I, I do like to pay homage to things that I really like. And, you know, I pop into the KSP TV streams once in a while. There's a lot of streamers in there that, you know, I'll peek in to see what they're doing. But I just honestly despise their sort of PG-13. Well, no, that's the KSP thing. It's KSP's PG-13-ness. These guys never swear. These guys never, like, talk about adult things. You know, they're just boring as fuck. They're just engineer speak. It's just constant, just an hour of engineer speak. I don't like that. So I'll peek in. I'll kind of see what they're doing. If they're doing something great, I like to kind of pay homage, pay respects by showing you guys, because I know a lot of you guys are the same way as me. You want entertainment. You don't want to fucking learn anything. Fuck learning. Fuck learning. I went to school for a fucking decade. I don't, I learned a lot. I don't need to learn in my fucking video games. I want to be entertained in my video games. If I wanted to learn in my video games, isn't that just school? It's like digital high school. I don't want to do that. Um, so I had a plan for this, and it involved getting to about 3,000, picking up some speed, and then doing a big old fucking loop, because we got to go back over KSC. I'll show you what we're doing. What we're doing is uh, EJ had done this with a plane, and he put uh, girders all the way down the sides, and then made a sled with a test vehicle on it. Speaking of which, I just noticed this game's going to be a fucking asshole about this. You know how the game is, right? Total dickhead. There we go. Total dickhead. I put three people in here. It decides to put two in the front and one in that thing. There's like four seats in here. The three people should be in there, but no, put one in here instead of one in here. If that makes any fucking sense. Okay, so we are going to do a loop. I don't know how this is going to work. I should descend a bit, actually, because we're at like 4,000 meters already. If I do a big ol' loop, we're going to end up at like 7,000 meters. If we're up that high, there's no air, so it'll be really hard to keep the plane level and whatnot. So here we go. We're starting a six, what is that, 500 mile an hour loop? That's damn near a 600 mile an hour loop. Oh, there's a, there's a ladder under there. Eh, that's adorable. Like a little uh, exit strategy, except if you exit one, they come out of the top, so that's... More or less just for looks, I think. All right, coming over the top, 6,000 meters. That's what, about 20,000 feet? Give or take. Gonna try and keep the roll nice and straight at 90. 90, 270, because we're going back the other way. There we go, that's pretty good, pretty good. We didn't have too much flip around, flip flopping. All right, I wanna get the nose up. I wanna get into a bit of I want to sort of hold position. Again, what would be nice, and I've talked about this over and over again, is just on the right side of the, the compass thing, there should be a couple of buttons for hold speed, hold altitude. Um, what else would there be, I guess? Hold speed, hold altitude, hold heading, right? So you could hold a perfect 90, and the thing would do its left and rights. The game desperately needs an autopilot. Just... Not necessarily for rocketry, even if it only worked down here in Atmo. Okay, we're going to shoot. It looks like we're going to miss the runway just to the right a little bit, which is probably safe. In a real test like this, they would never just drop it, like, on top of people or whatever. <laughs> All right, we're pretty much in level flight, I would say. We're sort of... We're going up a little bit, but we're slowing down a little bit, so at some point that should sort of, that should stabilize. That should, um, not crash. <laughs> Alright, let's open the bomb bay door. Let's open the coach bomb bay door. There's like six of you will get that. Six of you are like 30 year olds going, <laughs> coach bomb bay. Oh, that's great. The rest of you are like opening a internet explorer window right now. Coach. Bombay. Man, you guys are going to be disappointed by that reference when you figure out what I'm talking about. 
All right, so we're, we're, we're coming over the top. We've got about 10 seconds left here. 6,700 meters. And holding, basically, which is pretty cool. I'm going to throttle up a little bit because we're starting to lose a lot of speed. We're hemorrhaging speed, but we're still doing 200 miles an hour. We're still doing fantastico. Fantastico. We are going to miss... Yeah, we're going to miss the runway a little bit. I was hoping to... I, I always shoot for dropping things literally right on the runway. That would just be hilarious. Like, just a perfect precision... Just nailed it! Okay, we need throttle. Desperately, because we got to get the nose up. Because I don't think this thing's going to roll out the back. I've only tested this at ground level. Alright. Three, two, one. Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh no. Oh no. I don't I don't know what happened. Okay, get off the sled. Nice, nice. Julia Kerman is away. Turning off SAS, let it right itself. That guy's going, this guy's going. Alright, let's see if we can I know for a fact we can beat this thing to the ground. It's a race. Are we out of fuel? Oh shit. <laughs> Alright. Uh Tower? Mayday, I guess. Mayday. 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 This thing has flaps, so I'm going to pop all the flaps. I'm going to pop all the things to try and drag and slow ourselves down. It also has air brakes. This is the, um, what's it called, the A300. It's like the, st it's a stock plane, so you guys can fly this plane if you want. Uh, I'm not going to upload it, uh, again, because it's a stock plane. Uh, all I did was took off the jet engine things, and I just put these sort of long, smooth, uh, oh, what the fuck are these things called again? The whiplash. I put the, the high altitude whiplash on there, and it flies like a fucking dream. I'm going to turn off air brake. This thing flies really nice, and I love the wing construction. I wish they would have put um, a stock option. Stock options. <laughs> I wish KSP offered employees stock options. No, I just wish there was like you know, a bone stock option for wings that actually looked like this. All right. Pop the flaps down. Textbook landing. Hit the ground at like 80 miles an hour. That was so kosher. That was so good. All right, we're just going to roll up to... I have steering on this, right? Beautiful. We're just going to roll right up to the hangar as if to return our precious cargo. Slow down a bit here. There we go, eight meters a second. Pop over here and check out how Jules is doing. Little Julia Kerr. Did that just stop moving? Cannot switch to vessel while in atmosphere. It's like our cargo plane just totally stopped. It should be rolling at eight meters a second. All right, successful. Successful. Oh, even that thing made it down. Look at this. Look at this. That's reusable. That's great. All right, what happened here? I have no brakes on, but I lost all that speed. That is so weird. Oh, and I have no fuel, so I can't... I can't move. <laughs> I was hoping to kind of wheel it... Say what? I was hoping to wheel it over here. You know, sort of put it right in front of the hangar. But, uh, you know, in emergency situations like this, we get out the emergency crew responding vessel thing. Uh, ladder truck slash fire truck slash... See, I'll pretend this thing is a, a, wa a water hose. Pssst, pssst. Right, one of those... Or what are they called? It's like a foam cannon, I think. Yeah. Yeah, we're role-playing hard. Yeah. Uh, fuck. Which side did they get out on? <laughs> is it this side? I think it's this side. I think it's this side. This side has a little lander thing on it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. This thing is just like <laughs> stinky fast. Sorry. Sorry. I'm coming. I'm coming. Sorry. Those are the lights. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My cousin referred me. This is my first day on the job. I'm so fucking sorry. Um. Say what? 
let's just do this. Let's just make sure this is going to fucking stop. 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 Okay. <laughs> okay, why is... What? What? Forward is backwards, backwards is forward, but left is left and right is right. Figure that one out. All right. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Realism mod. Here we go. I have to remember that it's not break. It's gas that will break. This is so confusing. Boink. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Can we actually can we actually get people out of there? Can we? Let's get little Emily. See what happens. Oh, Jesus. That worked like, wow. Holy fuck. Guys, we built something that did the something we were hoping it would something. Holy shit. That is awesome. All right, guys. Well, we can, like, this is one of those few instances that we can actually clap our hands in success. Dusting dusting the dust off our hands in, su in success. Um, let's get Fred out. Oh, man, that is awesome. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh oh. <laughs> wow. Holy shit. He got caught between the plane and the ladder truck. Jump. Oh shit. I'm so sorry. 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 Fuck. Alright, yeah. I I would I would call this like a massive success. This was amazing. We we popped the lander out, the little track system worked. The rail cart essentially worked. Holy shit. Guys, this was a great little mission. I, I hope you like this mission. I hope you share. I hope you playlist the fuck out of it. I hope you guys are doing good. It's been like it's been like a week or something since I've done anything for you guys. And you can blame Overwatch. I swear to God, it's fucking Overwatch. I am trying to walk away from it. I need an intervention. I straight up I straight up need a, a, an overcrack intervention i will try and shake my habit and i will try and make some more awesome ksp content for you guys in the future but what i'm gonna need you to do i'm gonna need you to smash that like i'm gonna need you to smash that share i'm gonna need you to prove to me that you guys are watching till the end prove to me you're watching till the end i think a lot of you do the skip thing i'm guilty of it too i do the same thing in other videos but anyone who didn't anyone who watched till the end just pound it on social media you guys are the reason i'm growing at the rate i'm growing I'm making these garbage videos and you guys are watching them and you guys like them and then you guys share the fuck out of them. Your friends see them, your family sees them and it gets people here. I see the growth, I see the shares, I see how much content goes on Facebook and Twitter and all that stuff and I thank you guys so much. I love you guys. I should say that more. I should say that more because I really do love a lot of you. There's names I see in the comment section all the time where it actually puts a smile on my face. I see you, I recognize you and I fucking love you guys. All right, until next time, guys, peace, love, cheers.